Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. So let's start with Daniel Ricciardo, who's spoken about his difficult start to the season. Now Ricciardo has been outperformed by teammate Yuki Tsunoda over four weekends now, with him scoring points for RB, but Daniel hasn't scored any yet, and just seems to be struggling with the car right now. And Ricciardo has now highlighted that difficulty in the high speed corners, and trying to set the car up around stability, has affected performance. He said... I'm struggling to feel the car in the high speed and it's drawing some of the confidence out of me. We try to look for stability and sometimes stable is safer and slower and at the time I thought it made sense. But in hindsight, we just ended up making the car slower period. So there's a lot for Ricardo and RB to work on for them to unlock pace over the next few races. And I'd say it needs to be soon. Like we know Red Bull can be ruthless with their drivers and even though Ricardo and Red Bull have a really good history together, You've got to remember that Liam Lawson is waiting and over a few races last year showed he's more than capable of getting strong results. And on top of that, Daniel struggling like this I feel is ruining his chances of getting into Red Bull at some point. But there has been a lot of talk over the future of Max Verstappen, with him being linked to Mercedes. Now according to Automotor and Sport, the salary that Verstappen costs has already been allegedly approved internally, and he's said to be more expensive than Lewis Hamilton, including all success bonuses. And Mercedes team boss Toto Wolff has spoken really highly of Verstappen as well and would be more than happy to have him in the team, despite all the tensions there's been in the past. Like that title fight between Verstappen and Hamilton in 2021 was very tense and caused drama between Red Bull and Mercedes. Despite this, Verstappen has explained that he's moved on from previous disagreements, although implied that he was unlikely to move to a team currently struggling. He was quoted by Dylan Berger as saying, Look, a few years ago, there was of course a little more tension between us and Mercedes, but that can all be forgiven and forgotten. That's the case from both sides, but that doesn't mean I think I should drive somewhere else now. In addition, Mercedes does not have the fastest car at the moment. That's really the Red Bull. But that's going to be the video from me today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care.